Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So as you can tell, we are not in the nail room. I am in my house today. We are doing a day in the life, behind the scenes, whatever you want to call it, how I run my business on my days off from doing nails. So let's get into that right now. So it's the beginning of the week. This is how I begin my week. I always have a busy, long weekend. So yes, today's actually Tuesday. It's not Monday. So it's not like the start of the week. But yesterday was a holiday. I took off. And so now I'm coming in. And I wanted to show you guys. A lot of you guys seem very interested when I do a lot of the business stuff videos. So I thought let's do behind the scenes. Let me show you because you see me working in the nail room doing nails and stuff. But there's a whole other part of it, which I always preach to you and, and talk to you guys about, which is the business side of things. So how I run my, my, have my email list, the YouTube channel, the editing, how I do my books, the scheduling, my events that I have coming up for work and services and this and that. And so many things that's going on right now all good things but it's a lot so this is the days when i'm technically off from doing nails monday tuesday and wednesday when i'm off i'm usually home in front of the computer doing and getting some work done all the behind the scenes stuff all the editing and so on and so forth so i wanted to just bring you guys along with me like i said behind the scenes i'm gonna be going through some stuff that i have to do today and i have to finish a video I have to finish editing tomorrow's video and do the thumbnail i have a mother's day event coming up for work for this weekend so i have to make sure i write my supply list because i need to have supplies for that so i have to place that order and write my supply list i have to close my books for the week and for the month i have a student of mine who's going to be working with me for the mother's day event so I have to go ahead and set her up in the scheduling software so that she can be able to view the appointments. So I figured out a way to kind of do that a little bit, but I have to fully do it. Um, she's also going to be working with me in June, which is a whole another thing that I have to deal with uh, hiring an independent contractor or getting an employee. So I have to like do a little bit of research on that. That's neither here nor there. I have nail appointments and, and then I have that might be it for today. That's it. So I have a few things that I need to get done. So I'm going to take you along with me as I begin that. So first, I'm going to finish this cup of coffee and then I'm going to sit at the computer like I normally do. OK, so to begin my week, the first thing that I normally do is I sit down and I have my weekly to do list. So I have my to do list, what I have going on this week, things I need to accomplish, things that I need to email, edit, this, that. I have two separate books that I use to basically keep track of all that. So a customer had put me onto this. If you are not familiar with Rocketbook, let me put you on. If you're somebody that likes to write things down, like your to-do list and all that, and you're like old school, like I like to write things down, but you run through books and everything, Rocketbook is awesome because it's totally erasable and you just write everything that you need to write into the book and you erase it. So the first page, I have several. And I have like a little flip one. And then I have this one, which basically has the to-do list. And then it has a little space where you can write down your week like a two week view and then you have like your month view and then you have different pages i'm going to leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out so for example what i like to do take a paper towel a little wet and you just wipe it so i'm wiping up everything that i wrote last week because as i was doing it i did check it off so i'm gonna do that then it comes with this little cloth and you just wait for that to dry and I'll go ahead and write my to-do list for this week. And then also I have, it's like a rocket book and Panda organizer, like they do like a collab and they came out with another book. So same concept, bigger, a little bit different, 
um, but you can still write and erase and everything. So I like to use this mainly because this has a nice month view. So I can see my calendar. I only use this for the YouTube channel and what I have going on like with events and everything. So this is just like to-do list and sometimes I'll jot stuff and like stuff and then this is like, okay, I'm doing a video, I have a promotion going on, I have this, I'm taking off, I have to hand this and da 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 da. So I write down everything and it has like a three month view in the beginning and then the back pages are just some things that you can do if you choose to use it for business. I find that if you were using it for like life, Stuff, it would probably be a little bit better like it has like your goals and every day like motivation and what you want to do and it would be good personally I just don't honestly I don't use the rest of the pages I just like the three month view and also they come with these books they all come with this one pen you'll get you get one pen that comes with it but I like to have different colors so I'll get extra pens so these pens are erasable pens so they have like a little thing at the top and you can erase them I got, also got um, this is the holder for the little planner book so I can like carry this whenever I do travel and then I can hold all the pens and everything in there for me and then you kind of slide this in. I'll store one of the little towels in here and then everything just kind of like goes right back in and folds up. So again, I'm gonna leave a link to in my new Amazon storefront. So by the time this video comes out, that will be out. So my Amazon storefront is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna keep all things nails for on the nail tech shop on my website, but the Amazon storefront is gonna be for if you're interested in anything that I use to kind of run my day-to-day -day operations, business stuff, uh, office supplies, stuff like that, that I go through and that I use, because you guys know I love Amazon. So I'm gonna leave a link to the Amazon storefront. So right now I'm just going to fill in my month things for June that I have to add, make sure everything's still on track for May and then write my to-do list for the week. So I'm gonna start by doing that now. Now that that's done, I know what I need to do, what I need to focus on. Then I like to go into my computer and I have my content calendar. So all the videos that I create on YouTube, it is planned out ahead of time. I try to think I have a bunch of ideas and ones that are actually getting done. And I keep track of what's filmed, what's edited, what's complete, what the date, what's coming out, when there's gonna be a video, when there's not, so on and so forth. So. As I get ideas, I like to sometimes move things around as things happen. For the most part, I like to stay on track with how I want to come out with these videos and the order and such. But sometimes things do happen and I have to move some things around. So I like to see, I don't film too much ahead of time. I try to and things happen. For the most part, I film about a week. You know, I film one week for the next week. I'm not like too far ahead. But I, if I have to do any prep, for work. So for example, when I did the video with the allergy girl, you know, I knew that was a video. I knew that was going to come out in March. So we were talking about it in January so we can kind of plan it if I need to plan it. But that's why I like to just pop into the calendar and see what's the next video or what's the next couple videos. So I know how to do that. Like I know I'm doing one that is supposed to come towards the end of May and that is a waterless pedicure, a waterless spa pedicure, how to like a tutorial video. So I'm going to have to start to think of who can I ask to do that? Cause one, not everybody has time. Not everybody wants to film. Not everybody wants to show their feet, especially even though their face isn't in it, they get weird. I don't know. So I have to think who has pretty feet. I mean, I'm not going to embarrass people. and I'm not going to show you guys in demo on someone whose feet that looks crazy. That's not cool. So I have to just think about who's coming this weekend. Okay. Who can I ask to do this? Who can I, I film to do this? So like, that's something that I have to I have another video where I have to reach out to some old students and get them, them to kind of participate. So I have to think about these things kind of a, ahead of time. I can't always do it just one week before, like, oh, what am I filming? What's supposed to come out next week? That's not really how it works. So the same thing goes for uh, reels, reels and shorts. I try 
try, try, try. I've been decent with it if you follow me on Instagram. I try to do a reel or a short or just like something like on the weekends, on Saturdays, just to keep the page kind of alive because I'm working all day on the weekends. So I don't really have time to like post work and do all that stuff like that. So usually like Friday or Saturday morning before I take my first person, I like to just throw out a post. That's kind of it. That's all I got to say for the weekend. So if I need to film a short or I need to film a reel, sometimes it can be sporadic. I do find that planning is best when it comes to these things. I spoke about that in that social media marketing video. I can leave a link to that above. You should always try to plan. Like I said, if something doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. You know, don't kill yourself. Don't beat yourself up about it. But knowing like, you know, things that you want to do. I have like ideas uh, that I want to do short. Some stuff, it just doesn't happen. Some stuff, it will happen. I push it back down. Like I'm going to do this video. That video that I just released the other week of how much Janelle Tech make. I wanted to do that video like last October. But I was like, I don't want to just talk about myself. I didn't want to be that blunt with you know, my own personal information, but I want to deliver it different, so on and so forth. So like, I kept pushing and pushing and pushing it. I didn't want to just push it off, but it was an idea that I had and I was like, I I'm going to stick with it. And because I keep everything written down, it's always in my face. It's not an idea and I jot it on some piece of paper and I threw it down. So organization is everything. As I'm looking at my calendar, like I said, there's a video that I need to reach out to some students. So I have to kind of create something and post it or dm them i need some like i'm doing like a life at the nail school for a video i'm thinking i have like an idea but i know i need them to do something this part of it and then i'll figure out what to do with the footage so i have to reach out to them because that's supposed to come out um oh actually that's not till june but people take a while so i don't want to procrastinate so Exactly. So we have some stuff to do that I have to just like think about for the next coming weeks and so on and so forth. I don't want to forget about it. After I do all that, I have to go and close out my books for the week. It's actually May now. So I have to close out for last week and I have to close out for the month of April. So how I do that is, as you guys know, I came out with the beauty, business, workbook, and planner. So within that, you get some type of organization and management forms. So let me just show you. Let me pull my computer and I can show you. So this is the beauty, business, and workbook, workbook and planner. So this is just gonna take you through everything. It's a four part editable digital planner. So it walks you through the whole entire process of trying to get everything up started, your planning. And then you have part three, which is your business management, which you get an inventory and expense report, income tracker, pay reports, and tax forms. So I recently actually came out with just this along with a couple other forms in its own separate thing. So again, I'll leave a link in the description box where you can check that out for the Etsy shop. So you can just get the forms if you are not interested in obviously starting your business and you've already developed, you just want the forms. So once you download the form, let's say you purchase this and then you download it, you save it to your computer. So what I do is I have everything saved on my computer and I just renamed it. So I have my income report for April, for March, the tax forms, the pay report for March, and then the, inv track, the inventory and expense tracker. So I just wanna walk you guys through about how you would actually use these forms and how they're like super beneficial. I'm telling you, since I've been using these, it's been like a game changer. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to input your expenses. So let's just go through this. So it breaks down. I explained to you how you would use it and what you need to do. So right here, I'm going to input April, which I did. And then these are just the things that I've purchased and needed for the month of April. Again, like this, I need it for the Mother's Day event. And then I have the total of each week on my expenses for the room. So once I'm done with that, I can just like click save and then it saves it. So once I have my inventory and expense tracker, I'm going to go ahead and I can figure out my income now. So I don't have an income report. I have to make a new income report for 
March is just make a so what I'll do is just make a copy of one of the last reports and kind of open that one up I make a copy and then I can delete it so now I can just go ahead and resave this as instead of income report March I'll save it for May so now I have May. So what you're gonna do is you just write down each week what you mean, your expenses. So this is why I like this because it forces me to think of my expenses first for the next week. So I know what I'm actually making, what was my actual income. Cause normally sometimes I don't even think about my expenses. I just spend and just like deal with it during the week. But it forces me at the beginning of the week when I sit down and do all this, I have to think about what do I need to order? What do I need to buy? How much is it gonna cost me? After I look at my expenses, I can go to my Scuity app and I can just see, okay, what was my income? I'll put that in my, my expenses and then I'll have my actual income. So after I can do my income, income then I go into the pay report and that will basically tell me what am I going to be what I made the pay report this is an example you're going to put in that week so after I did the actual income I'm going to put that here what am I going to pay myself I'm going to take 60% I'll put that here and what should be going back into the business so remember this is going to go back into the business we've already kind of thought about our expenses in a sense because we took it from the previous week if that makes sense so it's going to go back into the business but don't really stress about this number too much because this will fluctuate as things will change the main thing is that you're you're remembering to pay yourself and put something back into the business and we want to just kind of get a this just gives you a general idea and then after you do that each month you would want to go in i'm going to open up my tax forms and then this breaks it down each quarter uh, January, this is my total monthly income. I'm gonna deduct about 20%. And remember, we're talking about cash here. When we're talking about these tax forms, we're talking about cash. If you are using a person, a third party or a square, stripe, style seat or something, they will send you a form at the end of the year that talks about that. You have to report that, that is 100%, but you need to put money aside for the cash that you collected. So this is where we're noting this. My total monthly income, this is gonna be the cash. We're not talking about, and instead in your booking app, if you are using it, this is why it's beneficial because it'll automatically break down how much money I made in cash and how much money was scheduled through Square or PayPal or whatever else. So all I'm writing here right now is my cash and then I'm deducting 20%. And then at the end of every three months, I'm gonna write what I should roughly have to the side or what can I can expect. This is not necessarily something that you have to put down. No, I'm not gonna have $500 to 545 at the end of the month to put down. You know, people have life, you have bills, but I know, okay, if this is what I have to pay, by the time I file my quarterly taxes, yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with around this roughly, give or take. If I'm prepared or I have something saved to the side, again, this just gives you a little bit of insight on your business. It's not 100%, but it will help you think and help you keep yourself organized and start maybe planning and scheduling and doing things that you weren't doing before. So I go through that whole process. So what I'm about to do now is I have to sit down and again, look at Acuity and put in all my information. I have to close out the books for the month and then for the week. And then kind of, well, I already did it as I was showing you, but just open it up for May. So I'm kind of all set when May starts. And then I can just have the form that I need for May there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close all that out now. That might take a little bit of time. Also too, if you're somebody that's like me and you're like into budgeting or you're trying to get your life together as we all are, I just wanna point out that I also leave a link in the description box below, but I purchased this book from Amazon. This is like one of those budget books that you can keep for your household. This has been life-saving. I've been doing this for about a month now and it basically helps you keep all your expenses. You have like your monthly thing that you close out at the end of the month. 
it helps you keep track of everything. I'm trying to show you a budget page. So you have like a budget page at the beginning of the month that helps you write your goals and everything that you're trying to do, a month view, and then you're gonna write down everything. And this was a game changer because like this page especially, you write down everything that you are gonna be paying for the whole entire month and what you were expected to pay. So what's your budgeted expenses? And then you go back at the end of the month. So I did this yesterday. I had to close this out for the month. I went back and I've been tracking. I was really, really like tedious and good last month and tracking everything that I spend money on. I just want to see, you know, a lot of times we make money and then we spend money and we're like, what happened to it? Where did it go? I wanted to save. I wanted to do this. And we just lose track of it. So I really wanted to like narrow in on what am I spending my money on? Where is it going exactly? So I had to go back in at the end of the month and fill in the actual column and see the difference and then close out everything for the month. So again, and then it also has like um, a debt tracker in the end so you can keep track of all your credit cards and everything and how much you paid them and what's the balance because they, they say that seeing it on paper is a little bit better when you actually feel good about yourself and you see those numbers coming down. So you have a debt tracker, you have a saving tracker. It came with those little like envelopes that you store cash in, but it wasn't enough for me because I'm extra. So we have another book. Well, the other book is just a little bit of a saving thing so you can save your money cash wise. So I will leave a link in the description box below. If you, again, are somebody like me, you see my life, revolves around books and everything in, in numbers but you know I have a lot going on I gotta keep myself organized or it would be like totally chaotic so I'm gonna go ahead and close out these books for the month and the week and actually I have to go put my laundry in the dryer so I'm gonna go put my laundry in the dryer come back and then do this this is mom life as well okay so I'll be back when I'm done with all that Okay, so I'm done with that. Now I have to edit the video that's gonna be out tomorrow because I'm a little late. I started yesterday, I gotta finish it and do the thumbnail and schedule it. So the only thing is I need my phone. You know, I do everything on my phone, so I can't film that. I'll try to insert anything of me editing if I can, but I need my phone so I can go edit that. And then, like I said, do the thumbnail and then schedule it so it can be, ready for you at 10 tomorrow. It took a little bit. I had to edit my video. Like I said, I had to use my phone to upload it and then I have to upload it onto YouTube. What time is it? It is 1.30. I have to go get my son. While I was uploading, I decided to just like start making my dinner. Y'all, I'm making some beef patties from scratch and some rasta pasta. And for lunch, I'm doing broccoli cheddar soup. So I had to get that started, you know, mom life. We gotta cook, multitask and do all that. So I'm gonna run, go get my son, come back, and then I have some more work to do and still have to do the thumbnail. I still didn't even get to that. It took so long to upload the video because it's long and I had to break it up into two parts. It's complicated. So I'm gonna go do that, come back, and then finish up some more work. So. I don't know, I guess this turned into like day in the life, not really run, run my business day in the life. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but I'll be back later. All right, so I'm back, got the kid, gave him lunch. Now I have to go do my thumbnail and schedule my video for tomorrow. And then I have to do something with my email list and I use MailChimp for my email list. so the way to get around it without paying for it is they only allow you to basically track one set group of people. So I want to manually add in my customers so that I'll be able to email them in bulk sometimes. Not everybody sees the posts that I do on my stories if I'm doing like a promotion or an offer or like the Mother's Day event. And I don't have time to be sending out text messages to everybody. So if I put them on an email list, I think next year I'm going to actually create a separate email list. I want to do some things for my customers with discount codes and birthdays and all that stuff like that. But I'm going to wait until the beginning of the year to do that. So for right now, I just want to be able to send them out bulk emails about things that I'm doing. So after I do the thumbnail for this video, I want to manually put them into the system for MailChimp. So I'll be able to send them that information. 
So I'm gonna get started on that now. So as I do this thumbnail, I use Canva, by the way, for everything. If you don't know about Canva, I don't know where you've been, but you need to get on board. If you are not signed up for the pro, don't try to be slick. I'm telling you, the pro is $12 a month. It's the best $12 that I spend over everything that I pay for. Canva is amazing. So I do all my thumbnails with Canva. So I don't know, honestly, I type in YouTube thumbnail and whatever kind of sticks out. I don't actually have like any reason or any type of, oh, I want it to be this colors or nothing. I just literally type YouTube thumbnail and the first thing that pops out, that kind of stick to, I stick with. You know, I try to have all my thumbnails kind of flow. Like the font is the same where it says no teach. I do have my little logo there. They do, there are some things that are always gonna be the same. But I like them, you know, they usually always have some type of brightness if you actually scroll through everything. Everything's kind of like bright or I like it when it's like ombre and stuff. But usually, literally, the first one I see, I'm like, that's nice. That means it caught my attention and I go with that one for the week. Luckily, I don't have so many videos that I've had to duplicate the same background. I don't think so. But I use that and then I'll kind of just like customize it. I usually keep the same font that they have and everything. I love them. So I'm gonna go decorate that now. Okay, so I was able to schedule that video, that's done. I started to input the uh, clients into the email marketing, but honestly, it's gonna take so long, it's not anything that's urgent, so I might have to like push that back. It's almost five o'clock now. I'm exhausted, I still have to cook, finish off cooking dinner, and it's just a lot more to do. I also have Mother's Day events, so I have to make sure those appointments are good. So there's a couple more things that I have to do. If I don't get to it today, then I will get to it tomorrow. I do have to train the girl that's going to be working with me. Well, she's worked with me before, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna do a pedicure in front of her or on her or something. And so that she's kind of familiar with the steps of how I like it and what I like it to, how I like it and how I like it to be done. So I'm going to go over to the nail room tomorrow to train her. Um, that is all i have someone that's been dying to make their debut my son's been bugging me am i going to be in a video am i going to be in a video so he wants to come and say hi come say hi to everyone hello say hi hello okay so what do you what do i say at the end of every video are you subscribed yes are you sure so then you, you do you watch my videos Oh, you see that? Real nice. That's, that's family for you. So anyway, if you guys like more videos like this, behind the scenes, a uh, day in the life that's not in the nail room, leave me a comment below. If you are interested in the beauty business workbook and planner, the link is in the description box below for the Etsy shop, as well as for my website, as well as the Amazon shop which is now up and running, which has all the business stuff. Again, I explained that earlier. So all those links are in the description box below. Say bye, Christopher. Bye-bye. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.